What would Jesus do? This is one more reason why I cannot support the GOP in 2014. Republicans live in a world of illusion, a world where proficient reading isn't fundamental. How someone can be so wrong and function successfully seems to support that perhaps truth doesn't matter. They're wrong about global warming, wrong about the economy, wrong about Obamacare, wrong about trickle-down economics and tax cuts. None of what they predict comes to pass. Everything scientists predicted about global warming is happening right before our eyes, right on schedule, and still they deny. Still they support practices that led to it and justify them on economic principles. This matter is the most serious in our lives because it directly threatens the food supply. It is just as serious as Ebola. People will die from it. Some already are. But then the GOP think the people who die deserve it. And if they're Christians, they should rejoice because they'll get to be with Jesus. Roosevelt saw what was coming in Hitler long before reality struck America at Pearl Harbor. If he had done nothing, America would have lost that war. We almost did anyway, for a number of reasons. We dodged a bullet, partially due to his foresight to ramp up American industry into armaments production. Those efforts not only lifted America out of the depression, but saved the day when war actually broke out. Roosevelt kept his efforts secret from the GOP pacifist isolationists of the time. Otherwise, they would have sought his impeachment. Guess who is trying to impeach President Obama now? For any reason they can find or make up. The GOP were wrong then and are wrong now. There ain't no trees, they say. We ain't lost in no damn forest. We know where we're going. Look at this wonderful stuff God provided us to build our houses with. Park and trunk of a tree is seen from a visual altitude of an inch. We can make a fortune from it. Difference is their altitude of an inch and our altitude of several feet makes all the difference in the world about understanding. Understanding if and how we're lost in a forest. You can't see the forest for the wood. And that might not matter if it wasn't for the forest fire we also see coming. How comforting that the poor who don't plan according to Republican rhetoric and die accordingly will get to be with Jesus. How about taking that comfort and shoving it somewhere? It is better to help people affected in the here and now rather than hope to meet them for coffee in heaven where we can all talk and laugh about it. What would Jesus do?